the water. What is it full of water? Why the hell is that full of water? I can't see no drips. It was a bit damp there, but... I must have a leaky roof. Oh my God, I've got a leaky roof. Welcome back to Johnny's Wet XJ. Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A melted engine. And he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with an old piece of rope. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. Time to refurbish the forks. This one I've slackened the big knot. Cleaned it up a little bit. In here, there's a damper rod, and you stick your Allen key up there and undo it. But just like that, so often happens on forks when you turn the, the bolt, you think it's undoing, but it's not, it's just damper turning by itself so what I'm going to try and do is use a ratchet strap put it around my vice take it to the end of the stanchion what I'm going to do is put that on there and that on there I'm going to give up on that method because it's I have compressed it halfway at that it is a bit dodgy on the end it's probably going to slip off any second but it's still not holding it tight enough to undo this so let's try the other method so okay let's forget about undoing that for a moment and carry on taking the cap off but be aware it doesn't usually shoot off with a bit of pressure not too much but you don't know who's had it off before somebody's had it off before and put two pounds worth of two penny coins in there it could shoot off and cause a lot more because of the pressure and as you can see I've already slackened it. You want a 20 mil, 22 mil socket. And carefully undo it. And the threads on this are very, very fine, so it does take a very long time to unscrew. Just see the threads appear in there. Keep down pressure on your socket and hopefully it doesn't take your hand off. Ooh. Wasn't too bad.
But you know when the missus is doing cooking and she uh, lets the taters over boil and it puts the gas out. That's a bit what it smells like in here. Gas. You can see these haven't been changed for a while. that bit on the top. And I'll just pour it into here for now. Oh look at that. Definitely needs changing. see down there should be able to you can actually like get a piece of pipe or long piece of bore and drill an hole through it and attach a bolt to it and if you can see down there usually it's a 17 mil socket size So I made this up with some old copper pipe when I did my GPZ forks and my Triumph Sprint forks and it worked perfect. But this not big enough. I need a lot bigger nut. We all need bigger nuts, don't we? But you know what I mean. I need a bigger knot to attach into that thing down there. So I'm going to have to make some other sort of tool. I have done the CBR forks before and on them I used a broom handle and uh, got a Stanley knife and made it into a slight point, pushed it down there, bashed it in with an hammer, put the mole grips on it. Put my Allen key on there and it came undone nicely. So if you've got a CBR and you want to get your fork damper rod out, that's the way to do it. Just an old broom handle or even a new broom handle, cost you a lot less than the tool. Make it into a bit of a point, not too much of a point. Make sure you bash it in hard. You're not going to do any damage with wood. Oh, don't tell me they're split. That's just the paint. So, let's try and figure out what to do next. Well, I've been searching around for something to find and a lot of you guys remember these box spanners that have helped me out before but I got absolutely free box of these from the market and uh, been fiddling around with them with some tape and a bar and that one fits perfect so what I've got to do now is find some attached to attach to the other end and then Bob's your uncle. And unbelievably, I can't believe it myself. They've even got my name stamped on them. Oh yes. Now I'll find my tile lever ball. Actually holds it quite nicely. But I've also found that my tire tire lever ball, if you stick it down there, all 
also holds it quite nicely. So first I'm going to try it with this tie lever ball. Just stick this in the vise. Put some more grips on this. And see what happens. Wish me luck. Me duck. So we've got our trusty mole grips on. There we are. Let's see what happens. Oh yes! We have definitely done it. Sorry about my t-shirt, put my chin on it. Yes, we've definitely done it. But so we didn't need King Dick after all, did we? Wicked. Let's try not to lose the bolt. Pick up the oil. Get that off my hand quick. Time for your exam, Mr. XJ. See the bolt don't want to come out, does it? Oh, here she blows. So the fun and games isn't over yet. We've still got to get this out, the seal and the circlip, the seal and the circlip, sounds like a story doesn't it, the seal and the circlip, well that's quite easy. And the method with this is you just Pull it up, I'm told, with some force. But it uh, doesn't seem to be working in my case. So I'm glad I didn't film that. Actually put it in my vice and yanked it out of, it, out of it. Just about demolished my workbench. So I'm glad I didn't film that, otherwise I would have to show you a lot, wouldn't I? But anyway, it's out. And all we wanted was that bit. Imagine sliding your brand new seals down that. I put them on from that end do you think? Probably safer wouldn't it? Anyway, we'll find out won't we? We're dripping. It's something to remember when you're doing your forks, do one at a time. Because you're not supposed to get the parts mixed up from leg to leg. If you know what I mean. So just do one leg at a time. Okay, so that's all the force cleans. 
so first. I think we stick the stanchion back in. Make sure your bush is on. Second, stick your damper in. Make sure your spring is on. Don't say which round to put it, so I'll just put it on anyway. Drop that down your tube. Hopefully the spray stays on. And we can get our nice new shiny bolt bolt. Get your Allen key. Tighten up. Gonna have to stick our tire lever back down there. Hold it with your foot. And try again. Sprint. After the top wash, there is a big washer. So don't forget to put the washer on. Got this old sink waste bit of pipe, what I normally use. Make sure your fork leg is compressed because we're going to get a bit brutal. That's the part of travel, so make sure that's down there, then you're not going to do any damage. I think that's in. And the next thing is the seal. So I've got a cunning plan. Be with me. What I tend to do is use an old milk bottle. Okay, let's dip this in there well. Get our new seals. Notice how I knock the bush in first. In the book it tells you to put the bush in and then the washer and then the seal on the top and then knock them all in together. But it's much easier this way. And there we go. Just put the clip back in. Then you can put your new circlet back in. Make sure it locates properly. Just press that on with your hands, should be okay. 
Okay, so I don't know about you, but I've had enough. So that's going to be the end of this video. This is going to be a two-part video, I think. Uh, the next video will start with me filling the forks up to the proper dingly dowel level. And uh, probably putting my tyres on my wheels and my discs and balancing them up. And all sorts of other stuff in my next video. But for today, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up. Please leave your thumbs up. Because they all help. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Wednesday or Sunday.